Hey Fox fam, we're here with Sarah, my cousin, and my sister-in-law, Maya. We got our Coronas. Um, today, we are redoing the leopard gecko habitat. I've had an open enclosure for quite a while now, and I've been wanting to do um, a really cool like rock formation. She actually adopted one of my leopard geckos, Cash. We're gonna redo her cage too once, like mine's the, like the trial run. So I'll show you <laughs> some of the first one. I know, right? I'm gonna get the, just like the bullshit first one. But what we're gonna do is build um, a frame almost so that I can pull the whole thing out and change it as I want so that it's not like stuck in the cage. So I'll show you some inspiration. I've been kind of watching this guy a lot and I will link his um, stuff in the description box. I think some of the, it's a reptile creation. I think a lot of the information is a little confusing because he doesn't tell you where he gets these things or anything. Um, so I kind of, I went to Home Depot and got a version of these, which I'll show you. And I got all of the supplies that I thought I needed. Um, and we're just gonna build this. Uh, right now we're gonna run to the store. We wanna get some little containers that are gonna fit inside of these for the moist hide and the warm hide. So we are gonna go to the store right now and do that. Are you ready for this? So ready. You're so blurry. Oh, there you go. So ready. Now you're in focus. But like, it's great that mine is gonna, my cash's container is gonna be way more money. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Are you ready? Cash money? Cash, cash money. money. Yeah. Yeah. And then we've got some other things that we need. Just, you know, Chilling. right there. So I got all of this stuff at Home Depot. Um, this is DIY insulation kit. This is just basically styrofoam. Um, I wanted kind of the thicker pieces of styrofoam. I got these ones on Amazon. These are a little bit wider. Don't go to Michael's for this shit because one of these slabs that are like half this will cost you about $12. Whereas this whole kit, and I've already taken two out of here by the way, um, was about 10 bucks. So got that got sanded grout, which we're gonna be putting over top of the styrofoam, and then we're sealing it with a water-based um, exterior sealant. I really didn't know what I was doing when I went into Home Depot. Um, a lot of the guys that made these videos aren't paying attention to the details, so I'll let you know how this works. But also got this guy to help cut the styrofoam, this little guy to help cut, the big guy, to help cut the styrofoam up a bit. We got some paint brushes. This is to put the sanded grout on. Um, the color of this one is also earth. This is the only one that they had. I wanted a terracotta, but that's what we got. Um, and then I got a little putty knife situation to kind of make sure that the grout is going in the edges around the different layers of rock. Rock. And then um, I just grabbed whatever like expanding foam that I found. This is the Home Depot brand, I guess. Um, and this just will help us put in some little plants into the sides and whatnot. I got these on Amazon. They're way cheaper than Michael's as well. Uh, and we're gonna dry foam or do the foam and stick these in there in the sides and stuff. And then I got some liquid nails. This is for, you know, if we wanna put any like little ledges on, um, on the sides here, we can glue these together. We're also gonna glue this bottom piece together with it and then Got some silicone. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what I'm gonna be using this for. I just bought a few things that I thought I might need. This is one of those things I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be using it for. But, um, and then I also got uh, this. It's just like some sandpaper to sand down some of the edges. I don't know how well it's gonna work on this since this piece is off in like little chunks. I was planning on using it on something that was a little like more smooth type foam, which I didn't find. But um, that's basically it. And then you're gonna need one of these if you're gonna end up using the silicone. This was actually from my uh, Pixie Frog build. So I'm gonna take the aquarium sealant out and then just use the regular silicone. You can use this for kind of gluing things too. But this will help you stick in some of the plants and whatnot. So we just got a bunch of shit and we're gonna start cutting this up now. I have measured the cage focus right here so we are creating kind of the framework um for it we're going to cut this out and then we are going to build the sides and build onto this <laughs> let me see your nipple oh hey look at that nipple 
Okay, so this cardboard here is the size of the surface space that we have of the enclosure. So this is gonna be one of our hides. So what I'm doing is I just measured this so that I can cut this piece out and it sits down about an inch so that when I cut the hole in this, I can leave a little bit of space for the, um, the uh, substrate to be in there and I'll put the hole a little higher so it doesn't come out. We're cutting some of these guys to see how high we need it. This is gonna, this is the back of the cage, by the way. So we're gonna build another hide up here, but we're gonna build a little bridge over to this area. So we're kind of stacking this up. Sarah thought to use some toothpicks to put in there so we can kind of see how it's all gonna stack up. And then we're kind of building over here. Building up our little pillar. I'm on the other side now. This is the back left of the cage. This is the poop corner. Leopard geckos always poop in the same corner. Um, and then we're gonna build a little bridge, a little bridge to Terabithia right here. <laughs> like that. And then this one's gonna go on top with some little rock pillars underneath on each side. Sarah's carving out the rocks to make them look a little more realistic. They look really, really cool. Look at these ones that she's done. Just. Taking some Elmer's glue to glue these down. So I'm gonna glue this one on there first and then glue this one and then those. And then we're gonna glue this guy on top and we've kind of labeled this so we know what it is. Here's where we've gotten, we've glued a lot of these pieces together. This Elmer's glue is actually working really, really well. This is going to be sitting up top over here and these stairs are gonna be sitting in front of this. And we're gonna make a little bridge here. Sarah is over here whittling out all of her little stones. This is looking really good. Check it out, Ryan's eating cookies. I'm watching Lord of the Rings. <laughs> we're watching Lord of the Rings. Um, oh, let me zoom you guys out. Okay, so this is really cool. This is going to be the um, heat pad back here so this is gonna be just oh sorry about that <laughs> and then she's making like a little staircase from here down well now I want to put one this is the side piece I don't really apparently I left my cricket thing open this is the side though I'm gonna put ledges it's right here I got it come here lucky day because you're gonna go outside you're missing a leg just enjoy the rest of your life outside it's a cricket <laughs> Goodbye, Cricket! Hello, diaper boy. Put your diaper on. Excuse me, put your diaper on. Okay, so this is the enclosure here. As you can see for Leopard Gecko, this is really high. There's like a lot of unusable space at the moment. If you were to just put, you know, some grass down or like the, what is it, reptile carpet or whatever you're gonna do. Um, this cage needs to be cleaned out better. It was cleaned out, but I don't know how this is someone's version of being cleaned out. What goes in next here? This guy. Oh yeah, it looks like we are gonna have to put something underneath that. Oh yeah. yeah. Make a little mini rock. So we have tons of space here on the sides to like put some, I've got some expanding foam like I said and I we can put some like plants coming out of here and some different like ledges and whatnot because actually my leopard geckos really like to climb. Like anytime I put anything like that in there, that wood piece, they love to climb on it. So yeah, pretty cool. Now we have to paint it. 2,000 years later. I don't know where I left off filming with the leopard gecko enclosure because it's been a month. This music's way too loud, hang on. So what I have here is this sanded grout from, I think it was either Lowe's. I'm gonna be mixing it in here and I'm gonna go ahead and start. I was trying to decide whether I wanted to put the plants on here first with the silicone or the foam or whatever that I got or if I wasn't wanted to just go ahead and do the grout first. I think I'm gonna do the grout first because I don't wanna get sanded grout on the plants and whatnot. So I've got a couple pieces from the setup here that I'm going to just be painting on after I do this. So just following the directions on the back of this thing, I'm just adding a bit of water until it's the consistency that I want. It doesn't really give you a ratio. Um, 
and then you stir it for five minutes and then you wait 10 minutes and then you stir it again and then it's ready to use. So I'm gonna grab my paint brushes while this is setting for the 10 minutes. And I'm such, I've been waiting to do this too because it's literally been raining in San Diego for the past two months. Like, I kid you not. And I've been waiting for a nice sunny day to do this outside because of the fumes and stuff. But that's just not gonna happen for me, I guess. This is after I waited 10 minutes. I'm eating peanut butter, sorry. <laughs> Okay, first one done. I really don't know if I need to do the back of this. Um, I'm gonna be putting a sealant on this, so I think it'll go fine over the styrofoam. Um, looks like I need to get a few more little places on here. So I bought all of these little succulents on Amazon, which I can link you guys to below. This is much cheaper than even buying like reptile, like plants made for reptiles. Sorry, I'm watching Barry Cavallari in the background. Getting ready for my move to Nashville and um, it's very loud. Anyways, uh, I'll show you some of the other ones I got too. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking some like little wire cutters and basically cutting off oh, the end. Okay, this worked out a lot better a second ago. <laughs> I need some more muscles. Okay, so I'm cutting these about right there, and then I'm gonna be gluing these kind of around. For this, I'm gonna use liquid nails. Could probably use silicone for this. It might even work better. I'm gonna try this aquarium safe sealant because I think this is gonna work out a little better. I'm adding silicone around the edge of this because I cannot find any sandpaper. Um, and typically, plastic will be kind of rough, so I want this to be really soft for them. I mean, they're used to jagged rocks and hard packed sand and whatnot out in the wild, but these are domesticated babies, so. What I've done is I've put my um, heat mat under here. It goes all the way back here, and then under this, is a cave that you can kind of see in there. It's very dark. This will be all uh, of the warm side, so it's pretty much all right here, and over here is where the moist hide is going to be. And what I've done over here is I've attached it through there. There is, this is such a mess over here. Um, this is the thermostat that goes along with the um, heat mat. Uh, this is not, this is, not a reptile heat mat, it is cheaper. It is a plant one, I think I paid about $10 for this entire thing and it's like 12 inches long. But what you do need with those, cause these only raise the ambient temperature about 10 to 12 degrees, you need one of these. And so, as you can see, let me zoom in. I have set this to um, about 85 right now for starters and then uh, it basically will adjust with this probe that is down here that is underneath the heat mat so it can measure the temperature. And I have a heat gun that I'll be measuring this with before I put them in here. We've got our gauges up here too so we can measure um, humidity and ambient temperature. I'm gonna keep an eye on this one because I find it hard to believe that it's 60% humidity in here when I haven't really added any water or anything. I just wanted to notate that um, I just plugged the heat mat into this guy and that's how it regulates it. I'm so dumb I had it plugged in to the other area before so um, this needs to actually be plugged into the device so that I can control whether it's going on or off. I forgot to film this but I just put like a little stone here so this can get warm and they can get on this. I just got these random things on um, Amazon and this I broke off of this manzanita piece right here. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing with this. I, in all honesty, need more desert decorations, so it's a little sad at the moment. We're still waiting for the silicone piece to dry. Um, and 
Uh, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I just put this in here for a little bit of texture for them to like explore, but I'll probably take it out once I get some more decorations. Um, and this guy is gonna go on top once we get the moist hide back there. These two, they just love each other's. Are you guys being adorable? That's Olive right there on the left. And then that is Brixton. Are you guys adorable? Also, we have a new boy in here that you guys will meet very soon. I'm giving him some time to get used to his enclosure, warm up, etc. And then I will be introducing you guys. Any guesses as to what he might be based on this enclosure setup? I put paper towel in here. Our silicone has dried um, and the fumes have worn off. Um, so I put a moist, I put paper towels in there and then I wet it down with a spray bottle. And now we are going to put this last piece on top. Okay, so then there's also another little hiding spot back over here and this is just for looks. Um, okay, oh my gosh, I gotta put the glass back in here. So I'm gonna put the water dish in here and the glass and then we will uh, put the girls in here. Hello, Miss Nefertiti. Were you ready to come out? Yeah? Okay. June is about to shed. I don't really know why she wasn't in her moist hide, but let's show her this one. Go back there, honey. You're trying to come out when I just made this whole enclosure for you? That's so rude. Don't be rude. I pointed you in the direction of the moist hide. Yeah.